A new state task force is targeting criminals trying to resell stolen goods online. It is also putting pressure on big tech companies to keep their products off of their websites. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera is live this afternoon in Hartford. And Dennis, these crimes are really costing the state millions of dollars. Yes, Aaron, and not only that, but jobs as well. The attorney general's office says these crimes happening at big chains and mom and pops alike have resulted in an estimated $169 million in lost revenue, as well as around 8,000 jobs. Now a look at the criminals they're saying are responsible for this. We all remember a video from Oxford last month showing thieves make it off with large amounts of laundry detergent and paper towels. Attorney General William Tong says products stolen this way often turn up on on online platforms like Facebook Marketplace, even Amazon. So the Department of Emergency Services and Public Protection, with the help of law enforcement around the state, will work to get these products taken off online platforms. Tong says tech companies need to have a bigger hand in the process. What we've heard from local law enforcement uh, here and across the country is that there's a bottleneck, that we need better cooperation with Amazon, with Facebook, um, with all of our uh, online retailers and platforms. Attorney General Tong says the task force will be working with neighboring states on the effort. Also, he adds it's all about safety. Later at 530, we'll hear what law enforcement plans to try to prevent these brazen thefts. Live here in Hartford, Dennis Valera, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.